Welcome back to another uh, lesson brought to you by Bugman Productions. In this lesson we'll be going over how to use the uh, CNC lathe to make a, uh, a palm piece for chess. Um, I have all the dimensions here. I'm not by any means an artist, I'm sorry. Um, we'll be going over how to make the program and then going out to the shop and you'll get to see the program run and actually make the, the pawn. So I'm going to zoom in here in a second so you can screenshot this uh, blueprint here or write it down. Um, yeah. Alright, so I got my, uh, my program here for the blueprint you just seen. It's kind of hard for me to get the blueprint and the program all on screen. That's why I told you to pause it, uh, take a screenshot, write it down uh, so you can follow along with the program here. Um, I'm not going to go over every single block of code, that's uh, wasting time, I just want to get out to the shop and show you how it's, how it's made, it's pretty cool. Um, I'm just going to hit on the main parts of the program, and if you have any questions though about any block of code, feel free to message me or comment, and I'll happily answer it for you. Uh, bringing the program here, program name, the tool I'm calling up, G50, which is my max spindle speed, setting that at a spindle speed of 2000, turning on my spindle speed with the M03. So spindle speed uh, S1000, got my G97 in there, which is my constant non-bearing spindle speed. I uh, got the G99, which is my feed rate per revolution, rather than the G98, which is feed rate per minute. Um, got the G0, G54, uh, which is my work offset. Got an X and a Z move in there, moving closer to the part. I uh, got my G71, which is my roughing can cycle to, uh, to remove material. Uh, within the G71, this is a can cycle, so um, I got the P and the Q. Those values mean um, it's going to start reading, at P1, it's going to start reading this block of code. And it's going to read every single block of code until it gets to the Q2, which would be N2, which is right here. So uh, everything between the P1 and the Q2, uh, those are all the X and Z movements that you need for the, uh, the blueprint over here. Uh, then you got your, uh, this, the D value, that's your depth of cut, your U value, which is your finish allowance for the diameter. Um, you got your, your W, which is your Z axis finish, your uh, F, that's your feed rate, your I, pretty sure you can see that, um, which is your rough pass allowance for X, and K, which is your rough pass allowance for Z. So then we start at N1 here and got a bunch of G01 moves, got the X and Z moves all through here. A couple more G01 moves, uh, and then I'm ending the program here at N2. Um, and now I'm sending the machine home, and this is where I'd like to get a finish tool here. It's, uh, Go over the uh, the allowance I left for for the palm piece here because I just did a rough cut. Now I'm doing the finish, but I don't have the, a finish tool to use currently. So I'm calling out the same tool. Normally you wouldn't do this if you're using the same tool, but I'm just showing you how you would change tools here. So send the machine home, grabbing the same tool or my finish tool. Then I'm gonna wrap it right back down uh, to the part here. Now I got my G70, which is your finish. Um, can cycle here for the uh, for your pawn and all you got to do is put the P and the Q value so it's going to jump right back up to N1 up here and follow the same cutter path all the way down to Q2 which is N2 uh, it's pretty cool it saves you a lot of time saves you a lot, um, a lot of work so you don't have to rewrite all this program out again uh, so after that I'm going to wrap it back out to, uh, out of the piece here, and then I'm going to G28, and I'm changing to my cutting tool to cut the palm piece off. Um, moving down to where I need to be to uh, cut the piece here, I'm gonna move in, got some G1 moves here. And then I'm gonna send the machine home, and I'm gonna turn off the spindle speed at the same time, and then M2, ending the program. Now let's go out to the shop and make this palm piece.
Alright, so we're out here at the lathe, CNC lathe, it's a Haas, got uh, a piece of one inch stock um, aluminum. I'm going to double check to make sure it's one inch, and that it is. So before I load my uh, stock here into this uh, machine, I need to look for my greatest Z value. So right here on the machine, you can see my greatest Z right here, the Z of uh, minus one inch, 424 thou and two tenths. So I need, I need to make sure my uh, stock is sticking out that much. So play it safe, I'm going to go out to two inches. my tools so I'm gonna go to MDI I'm gonna call up my first tool which is tool 5 the doors open all right I got tool 5 now I'm gonna go to hand job I'm gonna start out by moving in the Z here switch my increment. Now I'm going to take a piece of paper to use as my uh, to touch off on. This isn't the best way to do it, but for today's lesson it's perfect. So move down the axis a little bit more. So there, my paper can no longer move. I was sliding it before, but now it can't move, so that's letting me know my tool is touching my workpiece. So I'm just gonna rip that off. Then I'm gonna go over to make sure I'm on tool five. Now there's a, a button right here, it's called Z face measure. Since I'm doing the Z right now, it's the first button I'm gonna hit. And what it does is it takes my machine position, puts it up here in my offset to uh, tool five. Now I'm going to back away in the Z. Now I'm going to be doing my X. And I'm going to piece of paper here. Same thing. I'm just coming down. Sliding paper until the paper rips, letting me know I'm touching it. So now I'm going to be hitting this button right here, which is my X diameter measure. And what that does, now it's asking me to enter in a diameter. So it knows uh, the diameter of my stop. And all I have to do is input it, the diameter right down here. It's already at one inch, so I'm good to go. And then all I have to do is hit enter. And that automatically adjusts my X uh, to compensate for the diameter of this and my stop. So I'm going to back away. And I have one more tool to do after this. Close my door. Hop back over to MDI. Call up tool 7. Alright, I got tool 7. Hand jog. Z, over, I'm down here a little bit back, grab another piece of paper, same thing, sliding that paper up and down until I get a touch, good to go right there. Make sure I'm highlighted on tool 7, Z face measure. Good to go there. Back away. Go to my axe. Come 
on down, doing the sweeping motion with the paper until I touch. All right, here we go. Come over here, do my axe diameter measure. Once again, it's asking for the diameter of my stock. I have one inch inputted. Enter, it automatically adjusts it for me. Back away now. Now, I should be able to run my program. Now, no, I've already done a dry run for this program. Uh, I highly recommend doing a dry run before you start any new program that you haven't seen before. So I'm quite confident that this is going to work. So I edit, reset, go to memory, amount of memory, and my program should be able to start running now. I'm just put my rapid at 5% to start. So as of right now, uh, it's not touching the material. I did this just to make sure if my material was uh, a little bit bigger than one inch. Um, just compensating for it. All right, it's starting to take material. I'm gonna bump my rapid. Move it a little faster. So what's going on here is doing the G71, um, which is the uh, stock removal cycle. This is following the same cutter path like we went over in the classroom over and over again. It's going to keep doing that until I get the required dimensions that were on the blueprint. Alright, I'm going to come back in and watch. So what it just did there is it went back and was supposed to grab our finish tool, but we don't have a finish tool to use right now. It's again a nice light pass on there. Now it's going to be grabbing our, uh, our cutting tool here. And the piece fell off, and that go back. End of the program. And boom, you have your palm piece. Well, we have a little bit of a bird down here at the bottom, but I'll go uh, I'll sand that off.